Hey everyone, today we're going to be making some masala chai macarons. First, we're going to start by making the macaron shells and then we're going to fill those shells with a white chocolate ganache that's been infused with some black tea and warm spices like cinnamon, cloves, ginger. These macarons have just a little kick from all the spices, making them perfect as the weather gets colder. So grab your cup of tea and let's get started. First, we're going to sift the icing sugar and almond flour together. I like to sift it twice to make sure there are no clumps left. Next, to a separate bowl, add the egg whites. Then, beat the egg whites until they start to get foam. At this point, we're going to add a pinch of cream of tartar, as well as the granulated sugar. Then, continue to beat the egg whites until it reaches stiff peaks. At this point, you're going to add the egg white mixtures to the almond flour mixture and start the macronage process. Continue to fold the mixture until it flows off the spatula like a ribbon. Once it's ready, transfer the mixture to a piping bag to start to pipe on a piece of parchment paper or a silicone mat. Tap the baking sheet to remove air bubbles and then sprinkle some cinnamon. Then let the shells rest for about 30 minutes and then bake for 12 to 13 minutes. While the shells are cooling, we're going to make our masala chai ganache. First, to warm cream, we're going to add one tea bag and the spices, cinnamon, cardamom, ginger and cloves. Let the cream infuse for at least 10 minutes and then reheat the cream. Then remove the tea bag and add the hot cream to the white chocolate. Mix the hot cream and white chocolate together until the white chocolate melts and it becomes a smooth mixture. Let the ganache cool in the fridge for at least two hours or even overnight before we start using it. Once it's ready, then whip the ganache until it's light and fluffy. Transfer the whipped ganache to a piping bag and then let's get ready to start assembling the macarons. Match similar size shells so that you can make your macarons. Then start to pipe the whipped ganache on half the shells. I usually add about a teaspoon to each cookie. And then finally close up the cookies so you can start to enjoy your macarons. And then finally, it's time to enjoy your hard work. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and comment below and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. See you next week.